YouTube! It's your boy, Gilbo Swaggins here, and welcome to Rare Breed. Now, let me first just say, guys, I am absolutely sorry that I wasn't able to put out a uh, vlog last week, and that's because, unfortunately, life decided to rear her ugly head in and mess up my whole program. But the good thing is that this week, I have two vlogs coming your way. There's this one, and then one will be dropping out on Friday, okay? But let's get uh, to it pretty much, okay? Um, now, today, I wanted to ask you guys a question, okay? Because uh, this question was asked to me, uh, asked to me last night by a good friend of mine called Walk Wilson. So big shout out to Walk Wilson. Um, is, do you guys have a, uh, an emotional attachment to your sneakers? Or is it all, is it just all hype for you guys? Let me know. For me, Yes, I do have an emotional attachment to a particular pair of sneaker. Um, and I'll tell you that in a sec. Actually, I have an initial emotional. Blah, blah, blah. Cut that. <laughs> an emotional attachment to two, actually, now that I, I realize. And I will show you these two in a sec. Um, but yeah, um, the way this came about is because my mate, Walt Wilson, um, and I were chatting. And pretty much he said that he was going to get out of the Jordan game. But he was going to still stay, you know, buying sneakers. Because if you're a true sneakerhead, you know you can never get out of the game, right? But anyway, so I was like, oh, okay, so what do you plan to do? And he's got a huge Jordan 4 collection. And he was telling me, you know, he was thinking about selling some. And he's got the pair of Jordan 4 Toros. Now, if you don't know what the Jordan 4 Toros are, bam! That's what they look like. Check them out. They're hot. And in person, they look even better. And um, I said, hey, do you want to sell me them? He was like, you know, he was absolutely conflicted. And the reason why he was conflicted is because he has an attachment, an emotional attachment to them. And it's because his wife uh, bought him these uh, pair of uh, Jordan 4 Toros as a wedding gift for on their wedding day. And he hasn't worn them. They're still DS. And I understood that. I was like, no, no, that's cool, man. I don't want you adding any, I don't want to add any pressure to you. Keep them. And he's like, you know, if he does decide to pull the trigger, he'll let me know, which because he's my boy. And um, yeah, so it got me. Th he goes to me, you know what? Why don't you talk about that in the vlog? And I thought, what a great idea. So for me, which sneaker or which sneakers do I have an emotional attachment to? And I've got two. The first one is quite simple. It's because when I was younger, I was introduced to sneakers at a very young age. And my dad is a closet sneakerhead. He won't admit it, but he is. He loves his Chuck Taylor All-Stars. He had all different types of colors. And growing up in the 80s, I remember seeing him. He had red, yellow, blue, you know, the originals, the alternate, which the alternates are the white ones. Um, but yeah, you know, so for me, I, sorry guys for going out of the screen there. I will always keep a pair of Chucks in my collection and that's because it reminds me of my dad now my dad hasn't passed away but i just love having something that makes me i don't know we share a, a bond there because sometimes we go to you know the converse stores at a dfo or something like that and we can talk about you know how good these sneakers do look now i know that chuck taylor's are the most uncomfortable sneakers to wear I haven't tried the new ones with the nike lunar glide insoles in them because apparently they make them super soft now I uh, want to try them, so you know we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, so these are one of my Chuck Taylors. I thought I'd show you because it's pretty dope, man. Now this one um, has like a cool LA Chicano feel. You can see the the low rider, and it's uh, let's see if I can get that in focus. There we go. It's got like a nice Los Angeles thing. And the reason why I love these because I'm Latino and I love Chicano work you know Mexican artwork and um, Los Angeles especially because I've my family are in Los Angeles and um, the next sneaker I'm going to show you definitely has a huge cinema I have huge sentimental value to the silhouette because it just reminds me of a better time and I'll show you that in a sec and ah, I just went to go grab it. <laughs> so yeah, um, the thing is, the backstory of this particular kick was me and my mother uh, went to LA, right? Because it was going to be my first time to meet my cousins and my uncles and aunties. And uh, when we flew there, I was able to stay with one particular uncle and auntie. And my uncle, I'll see this, um, God rest his soul now, because he's passed away. He was the uh, 
he was the one who taught me how to tie shoes, how to tie my own shoes. He taught me. And he taught me on my very, very first pair of Jordans, which were, yeah, that's it. The Jordan 5 grapes. The, this sneaker here will always be in my collection, um, no matter what, because every time I wear it, I, it just reminds me, like I said, of a better time. And my uncle always made me laugh every time I spoke to him on the phone. And yeah, so, and plus, who doesn't like these? I mean, it's so fresh and it just pops. Even though I, these have become like somewhat my beaters, they still look amazing. That whiteness with the purple and the apple green, or apple blue, and the tongue. Oh my god, that tongue! That's why if you see in my, obviously on the Rare Breed uh, homepage, you'll see the tongue of the Jordan 5 because that sneaker means the world to me. This sneaker, I should say, means the world to me. So I'm asking you guys, do you have a particular pair of sneakers or sneaker that means something to you? Let me know, write down in a comment down below and also maybe even post a picture or something on the Rare Breed Facebook um, page, okay? So that's Rare Breed at Facebook. Um, you can check that out. Um, yeah, just give us a comment. But that's that's it for today. It's gonna be a little short one. So let us know. Let's let's continue this conversation. Write us a comment. Tell me. It doesn't even have to be about sneakers. If there's something that you have sentimental a sentimental value to, let me know. You know, because this is the beauty about YouTube. I'm trying to connect with you guys and I'm hoping you guys can connect with me and we can keep it going because I want to build this rare breed community, okay? I want to build the squad, the squadron, okay? So if you're new to this, please subscribe. And also guys, chuck on your notifications because next, the next vlog, um, I'm especially talking to you guys. It's gonna be about men's uh, haircuts. Okay, trust me, you're gonna love it. And for you ladies, if you've got a man who you're sick and tired of him getting the same cut or he hasn't had a haircut in a while, please watch and get him to watch with you. Maybe there might be a style that he particularly likes, okay? Trust me, it's gonna be amazing, especially for you guys living in the Brisbane area because um, we're gonna be going somewhere that's located in Brisbane, obviously. But yeah, but enough about that. Thanks for the chat, thanks for watching. And you know what? Like I always say, stay fresh, stay dope, because this is Rare Breed, baby, and we bring you nothing but the dope content. I'll see you Friday. Peace.